everybody, Richard here from Electric Classic Cars again, and this time we're going to be talking all about bolt-in EV conversion kits. Uh, we do quite a few kits, um, so Fiat 500 um, kit, um, Land Rover Defender, VW Beetle, Classic Mini, and I'm talking Classic Mini here, not the big bloated modern BMW Minis. Um, and just a word on kits, so to us, um, a kit is something that is essentially like a bolt-in kit. Um, and we only sell to approved um, uh, installers um, and there's a number of reasons around that. One is liability of selling it to a member of the public that doesn't um, necessarily have the right qualifications, could end up killing themselves unfortunately if they grab the wrong end of a 400 volt uh, cable. Um, and the other is uh, it keeps, um, you know, we keep control over the, the quality of the, um, the partners that are um, associated with us, if you like, because essentially we can train them up and they can train their staff to be uh, EV uh, qualified or certified technicians, if you like. So the bolting kits we're talking about here, unfortunately not available to uh, Joe Public. They're just available to uh, our approved partners. So if you are a classic car dealer or specialist around the world and you have you know, um, some interest in uh, EV conversion kits, Talk to us via the website um, or call us up or email us via the um, contact page on the website. So I thought I'd just give you a little bit of um, a run through of this classic mini kit that we got here on the floor because this is about to get shipped off to our partner Gildred Racing in the US or Super Coopers, I think they're all, also called. Uh, so before we created it all up, we've obviously bench tested, run it on the floor, just to make sure everything works fine, spun the motor up, reverse, etc. works and charging. So now it's going to go into a crate and it's going to go off to the States next week. So I thought, before we do that, let's give you a walk around. So what have we got here? Well, in essence, it's a bolt-in, um, pre-wired high voltage and low voltage loom uh, with a Tesla drive unit and a 31 kilowatt hour battery pack. So if we start at the front here, so those that know their minis, this is a, uh, a mini subframe, slightly modified obviously to be able to cope with the Tesla drive unit. So there's a small Tesla drive unit in, in there which gives a maximum of 300 horsepower. And everybody's got 300 horsepower in a mini, you nuts. Well, don't forget, we can just dial that down. So in uh, road mode, it's around about 100 horsepower, which is pretty quick, but it's not stupidly uh, quick. Um, but then you can flick it into track mode and please make sure it's on the track when you do it and then it'll uh, transform into an absolute monster of a 300 horsepower instant electric power you know, rocket ship basically. So uh, normal um, uh, road mode it's a uh, um, 100 horsepower and that small Tesla drive unit fits like a glove inside the mini subframe and that just bolts in and then over the top of that we have the front battery box so there's a number of batteries in here um, there's a radiator at the front and uh, those of you that follow us should know that uh, electric cars still need radiators and that's just cooling the uh, the motor and the inverter side of things and over the other side there if you stay there uh, or actually come around and you'll you'll, you'll see so mm -hmm. on, on this side here we have a header tank and that kind of like fits around about there um, into a, a recess inside the mini engine bay and that's essentially the header tank for the coolant system um, that's your uh, service disconnect and if you come around midship uh, you'll see um, obviously if this was the car I'd be sitting kind of around about here um, that's your heater so this is being converted to electric obviously so you've got your high voltage feed in there for the um, heater element so that kind of sits around about there in the dashboard and all the loom is all pre-done so all the connectors and all the um, uh, cables are all cut to length and uh, the connectors are all on there. So essentially that, um, if I remember rightly, goes into the heater. Um, that goes underneath here. Um, you've also then got um, uh, the shifter. So you still need to choose forward, neutral, re reverse. And this, this is a Mark III mini shifter. We've also got a Mark I as well and Mark II, obviously. And essentially that's just forward for reverse neutral and uh, uh, forward for reverse did i just say that i did didn't i forward for for f for forward n for neutral r for reverse and what's inside here if you come in nice and close you'll see the mechanism so essentially 
there is a micro switch there and another micro switch there and that puts it into forward and that puts it into reverse great bit of engineering that um, so that is the shifter and then the the cable um, tray if you like that bolts in underneath the vehicle uh, to where the exhaust pipe used to be, uh, go so all the high voltage cables are nicely protected bolts up underneath the vehicle then you've got another battery box here and also you've got the your low voltage loom the low voltage loom actually runs inside the vehicle then you've got a battery box here this is going underneath the back seat so this just bolts in there and there there and there and then on top as well so this is the middle battery box and then you've got the, the main uh, battery box in the boots here so if you come around you'll see this just goes into the boot and then just drops into the floor of the boot um, giving you a total of 31 kilowatt hours um, and range wise I think it's around about 150 miles range if you just drove it normally let's say and like anything petrol or electric if you drove it like a um, uh, like you stole it the range will come down and if you drove it more sensible the range goes up and that's the same with miles per gallon of uh, petrol as well but also at the same time around the back here what else we got so we've got your 12 volt battery and you've got your DC to DC converter and this is a, a lithium battery so nice and light uh, small little 12 volt battery and the reason why it's so light is because essentially you don't need to crank over a starter motor so all that needs to do is basically just fire the contactors on when you turn the key so it can be nice and light and small uh, and then over here we've obviously got the, the charge socket two types of charge sockets because uh, this is going to the states so this will need the the type 1 charge socket uh, and then this test loom here that we've got is for a European market, which is a Type 2 charge socket. Um, not sure where the charger is. It's on the bench by the looks of it. So uh, the charger normally sits in the engine bay at the front. Uh, can't sit around anywhere. But there's a seven kilowatt charger that goes on this as well. Uh, and the idea is, essentially, this can be installed without having to cut into any of the high voltage cables because it's all already um, uh, pre-crimped. Uh, uh, connectors and everything on there so this just literally bolts in there's a couple of uh, holes uh, that you need to drill but that's it and that's what I love about the uh, the kits that we do essentially it's a real light touch conversion that you don't have to weld things onto you know the body or um, uh, change things about too much on the car so it's completely reversible in that respect as well um, and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it so any questions you have I know you're gonna ask about cost I don't know is the short answer that I should know but the, the sales team uh, know that sort of information so if you're interested in cost side of things just contact us through the website call us up on on the phone in the week and uh, John or Sophia um, or Joe can answer your questions on that but uh, any other questions from a technical point of view which is you know my field if you like let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer for you um, some I'll try to preempt um, now. Um, the estate version, the clubman version, um, and things like that, the pickup version. Um, so, yes, it should work in the clubman version, which is the more stub nose like version of the Mini. Um, the estate and the pickup versions, I don't know is the answer to that. I know the front will work. I think the rear uh, battery packs might not work so well. We haven't done one in short uh, with the estate side of things but mark one mark two mark three minis i definitely know it um uh, supports uh, left hand drive and right hand drive um it definitely supports as well um so there we go any questions let me know in the comments below and i'll try to answer them mm -hmm.